Howdy, I'm Matt, and in this video, I'm going to be discussing the naughty setting within iNav. And when I say naughty, this is the setting which will allow you to do fully autonomous missions with iNav. So let's get straight to it. So coming across to the wiki, the setting which you are after is fail safe mission, and that is the setting which you require to turn off. And I'll explain why in just a moment. So if we look at the documentation, it says if set to off, the fail safe procedure will won't be triggered, and the mission will continue if the flight controller is in WP uh, waypoint automatic mission mode. So let's just assume, and and the default is on. Okay, so what would normally happen is that you've got your transmitter and your battery runs out or you run out of signal strength, etc, etc, whatever reason causes a fail safe event, is normally the desired result is that your model then turns into return to home mode and comes back to you. That's what 99.9% .9 of people would want. However, that's not what we want if we want to do a fully autonomous mission. What we want to happen is that we want to potentially turn our transmitter off or if we do go outside of the range that the pre-programmed mission which we have been in created continues. There are other caveats to that but that's the basic summary. So what we require to do is to turn the fail safe mission to off. So let's look at the code for this. And in the iNav code is again, one of the great things about open source is that we can actually see what the code is going on. So what it says here is that if flight mode is the navigation, uh, is navigation waypoint mode. So in other words, in my case, I turn that switch all the way around to waypoint mode and that that setting is set to off, you'll notice that we've got an exclamation mark there. So in other words, that, that, that's an inverter. So it takes, if something's true, it turns it to false. Or in our case, if it's turned off, it makes it true. So in other words, what this code does here is that if we are in waypoint mode and that setting I just mentioned is turned off, both of those true, both of those options are true, and it returns fail safe procedure none. In other words, it overrides the fail safe event. So keep that in the back of your mind because that's the key to this. So what you would need to do is nip into the CLI tab and you go in here and then type and then you'll notice I'd, uh, if I click up, so I don't I can never remember which one it is. So I'm just going to type in get fail safe M. And we've got three options and there it is, mission. So what we would do, and you'll notice mine's already off. Uh, we would click type, type in set fail safe mission equals off, hit enter, and then type in save, and then hit enter, and then the flight controller, as we've just heard, will reboot in the background. Now, that is step one. We have told iNav that if you fail safe and we are in waypoint mode, to, to continue on flying in that waypoint mode. And that's the key. What you then need to do is, assuming your transmitter's on, turn or flick whatever switch clicks you into waypoint mode and then also remember you want to be armed set any other defaults maybe like your camera view for example uh, and whatever settings you feel applicable on your transmitter obviously not return to home then because i'm using crossfire set your fail safe for your uh, transmitter okay or your receiver whatever system you're using once put your model into, keep make sure it's armed, turn it round to your waypoint mission setting on your transmitter, and then set your fail safe. Now, obviously, you want to go and test this in a safe environment. So what I would suggest to do is the next time you go flying or when you're on the flight line, make sure you set that setting to off. Create a very simple mission. So in other words, just a circuit around the field where you fly, okay? Keep it super safe. Then, Chuck your model, auto launch, whatever, just get the model into the sky, turn it into waypoint mode, and then get your model, and then just make sure the waypoint mission is working correctly. Then, turn your transmitter off. And remember, I'm using Crossfire, so we not only turn the transmitter off, we also remove any external power from the actual module itself. What we should then notice is that the model carries on into waypoint mode. 
That is how you do an autonomous mission. So let me just recap what we've been uncovered. Let me bring the settings back up on the screen. Is that we do require to set the failsafe underscore mission value to off. We did that in the CLI tab. Then we make sure that we set our transmitter to be armed and any other settings which we like. A good example of that is camera view or the OSD view and make sure our transmitter is set to be in waypoint, in waypoint mode. We then set the failsafe on our transmitter, whether that's in the external module, whether you're using DragLink or whatever else, or in the actual transmitter itself. Then go and test it. And I cannot stress that. There's nothing quite first working this out and lobbing a model and then turning your transmitter off and it comes into failsafe and comes back to you. What that means is that you either not set that one setting, because it's, it's the one setting easy, or you've not set your failsafe in your transmitter and it's one of those things which you can only test with the model in the sky and that is how you could do a fully autonomous mission with iNav it's one setting you set your fail safe and the code as we've seen a few moments ago will override and then set the fail safe procedure to none and of course do this carefully, do this in the field which you fly, just set a couple of waypoints in a big circle, so it goes around a good couple of times, you know, just so that you get your confidence up, and just to prove, and, and, and God forbid, that you cannot reconnect, which I don't know why that would not happen, but it's always just above your head, and it's in a safe environment, so that you get the confidence to do something more challenging, perhaps. So with that said, any questions or comments, please let me know in the comments section underneath this video. I've got a whole other collection of different videos on iNav, like maybe get maps into iNav so you can actually see the ground using Bing Maps and so on and so forth. Do check the channel for other videos like that. Anyway, with that said for myself, Matt, a big thank you to you for taking the time to join me here for this video. Oh, by the way, if you are new here, Howdy, I'm Matt. Don't forget to press the subscribe button and of course press the bell notification so that YouTube updates you when the next video is out. It could be we're on the flight line doing one of these missions as an example or something else. <laughs> Those of you which know me, you know what we're referring to there. Anyway, for myself, Matt, cheerios.